Hey there, welcome to Fundamental Supersized Business Strategy number 63. I call this one the famous folk strategy. Why do I call it this? Because a lot of businesses will look to influencers, movie stars, sports figures, famous people in any way. Think of the Olympics. We just got done with the Summer Olympics and a lot of the winners got endorsements and endorsements meaning they're being paid to promote different products and services. We can do that with any business, right? Any business can find famous people in their, that their customers, their clientele like and respect and get them to support their cause. Some are paid, some are free. I would say the vast majority of uh, influencers as well as famous folks that sponsor products and services or causes are paid. Uh, probably argue with me about this, but I think I haven't looked up the statistics, so I could be wrong, but I do believe the vast majority of them are paid. That's why the whole influencer market has come to exist. Since social media is a thing, people have large groups of followers. It's a great way to attach your name to, and the caution here is, people and personas that have the same core values and interests as you do. I think one of the, there's a couple of things we need to keep in mind. Number one, we need to pick the right famous folks to promote our products and services. It really helps if they are authentic and they really love our business, right? If they're passionate about our business and they love it and they have their own story, that is the most powerful influencer, testimonial, famous person, famous folks you can get to share about your product and service. And some of those you'll pay, some of them you won't even have to pay because they love you and your products and services so much. Those are the best. Those are the raving fans. Those are the people we are all seeking to have a thousand or more of in our different businesses and in our life. Uh, we want to engage, collaborate with, and then have authentic relationships with these famous folks versus just paying them to promote us. There's, uh, we're in the, coming to the end of a presidential amp, election and campaign in the United States. So there's tons of fodder and examples of this. Uh, different people uh, working with President Trump, different people working with Vice President Kamala Harris. And it's actually an incredible way. And if you watch the game, it's an inc incredible way for them to either candidate, either side of a cause or your business, it works the same way for your business, to get a ton of attention and to attract new customers, new clientele, new voters from your their customer base, the, the famous person's customer base. And, uh, you know, Taylor Swift comes to mind because she's got a huge following. She's like the richest female singer. She made a couple billion dollars on her last tour, a couple billion with a B. So obviously she's doing something right. It, it applies to any area or any niche or any thing that's appropriate for your business. A lot of authors and actors are speaking up uh, and choosing sides when it comes to this particular situation, the presidential election, but it doesn't have to have anything to do with that. We can use the same strategies that other businesses and other industries use to build and grow and supersize our business, to supersize and build our following and attract new customers, new markets, new clients to us. So sometimes just step back and watch as different things play out in all of our environments and see how you can take advantage of those and use those strategies for yourself. You know, we've talked about influencer marketing before and how we go about finding the right influencers for us, communicating with them, talking to them, uh, building relationships with them. Because like I said, the strong word of mouth, their story is the most powerful thing that they can do to endorse you uh, by having used your products and services, in my humble opinion. All right, love to know your take on Famous folk strategy. I like famous people. I I don't want to be one, but I do like famous people. And I think it's fun to uh, interact with people that are famous because they're just real people too. I think we forget that sometimes. All right. Have an awesome day. Any questions you can ask right here on this video if you happen to be watching me on Facebook. Or you can just Google me and find me anywhere. All right. Have a great day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.